Are you writing a book to build your business, grow your brand, explode your credibility in 2020? If you're writing a business book and self-publishing it, this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad from Book Launchers. We're your professional self-publishing team helping you write, publish, and promote a non-fiction book that grows your brand, builds your business, and makes you money. Our superpower is caring more about you and your book than any other company as we support you to succeed. And the best part, you keep all rights and royalties and have full control. It is your book, after all. Hmm. I just found some food. Now, as we roll into 2020, you might be wondering just how you can publish a business book and succeed. I mean, there are thousands of books launching on Amazon every day, right? What can you do to stand out, question mark? Number one, there's always a new take on a subject. Find yours. I have kind of two things to think about here. There are hundreds or thousands of personal finance books. We were doing research for a client's book description and uncovered a keyword or topic with great sales and only four competitors. That is an untapped niche inside of a great big world. That spells opportunity. The second thing is your book will be unique if you find your hook and what makes you uniquely suited to be the person who writes this book. My first book was a real estate investing book. There were and are so many real estate investing books out there. What made my book particularly unique was the fact that I was telling people real estate might not be for them. How many real estate books talk about how you can get rich with real estate? How many say, well, <laughs> you might get to own a crack house. <laughs> only mine. So find your unique angle. Number two, hire professionals. Just because you can self-publish a book without a gatekeeper and you can publish a book tomorrow if you want, that doesn't mean you should. You will be judged by your book. And as someone writing a business book, you need to exude credibility. My goal for our clients at Book Launchers is that nobody ever says, oh, you self-published. <laughs> you can be on the list with LA's best of 2019, like Robert Kerbeck. His book won the best historical nonfiction of 2019, and he self-published with us. Or you can go on the news to talk about your book, like Michael Brenner and Lene St. John did, and proudly showcase your book like any other traditionally published author would. Or you can land airport bookstore distribution, like Gotham Bade, Ryan Berman, and Robert Workman have done with their books. But that takes hiring professionals to create a professionally published book. If you don't invest in your success, you're unlikely to create success. So hire great people to make your book awesome. Number three, network and collaborate. Chances are you know other authors. Michael Brenner shared in his author spotlight video that he was able to get a lot of book reviews for his book. He was calling in favors from people he had supported over the years, authors and otherwise. I've shared before that my book sold largely due to my network. There are plenty of ways to leverage your network and collaborate with other businesses or authors to create success for your book in 2020 and beyond, but you need to be investing in that network. That means attending events, building relationships, and connecting with other people. Get creative. Who can you connect with to create some win-win content or offers? And by the way, I think a great way to look at this is nobody is a competitor, but they can be collaborators. There's always an area where you can support each other even when you're in the same industry appealing to the same people. Everybody does something a little different and will appeal to someone different. So find those opportunities to join for and get out there and grow your audience for your book and your business. Number four, create an audiobook. I've talked about whether you should do an audiobook before. I'll put that video right here. And admittedly, doing it well is expensive and a hard decision for some. If you have the budget, I strongly recommend it because the future really is bright for audio. Many reports are showing that ebook purchases are declining and audiobook purchases are increasing dramatically. And because less than 20% of the market in some categories, it's less than 10% are currently producing audiobooks, you have a real opportunity to stand out in a less saturated book market. Number five, go beyond Amazon. Yes, a lot of your sales will happen on Amazon, but I think focusing solely on Amazon is a mistake for a business book author, and here's why. There are tremendous opportunities to sell books in colleges, businesses. I don't know what your book is about specifically, but there are tons of places that might carry your book or give them as a freebie with their service or do some sort of cross promotion with you. And if all you care about Amazon, you're missing out. Bookstores will carry your book if you're willing to put in some effort. Robert Kerbeck, 
I mentioned him at the start, author of Malibu Burning, has landed a lot of amazing distribution all around the LA area. Many of his book signings have actually had celebrity appearances like Pierce Brosnan and Maria Shriver. Gillian Gertzen got end cap displays in Chapters Indigo in Canada for her book, Elephant in the Gym. Ryan Berman sells a lot of his book, Return on Courage, packaged up with his speaking engagements. Mark Lindholm, a doctor's perspective on CBD oil, is being sold in other chiropractor offices. And of course, looking beyond Amazon also means libraries, conferences, and corporations. With a great book, the sky is the limit. And I don't know about you, but I am crazy excited about the folks we're working with that are publishing books in 2020. The opportunities are endless, and I can't wait for us to help them uncover new and cool ways to find readers for their books. So what do you think? What's your best tip for publishing a business book in 2020 and beyond? Let's chat about it in the comments below. And when you comment the day a video is released, you'll be entered to win some sweet hashtag no boring books swag. Do you wanna pay for future videos? If you do, go ahead, hit that thumbs down button. If you like getting these videos for free, smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so we can hang out when a video comes out every Tuesday and Friday. Friday. Now, it's been an absolute delight to hang with you today. Why don't we keep hanging out? There's a ton of videos you should check out after watching this one, but if you want to figure out if you should create an audiobook, this video is for you. And if you want to make sure you write the right book for your goals, this is a must watch to make sure you write the right book to achieve what you want to achieve. Click on one of those videos and I'll see you there. Uh -huh.